Hello and welcome to this episode of Homemade Healthy. I'm your host, Rob, and I'm here with my sweet but not insulin spiking wife, Lisa. Very nice. So, that was great. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. So we're making a chicken pot pie recipe with a nice crust that won't raise blood sugar. So without further ado, I'm going to use my handsome assistant here and he's going to be doing some things. And then while he's cooking and letting it simmer, then I'm going to do something. So okay. there'll be a lot of action today. So put me to work. Okay. We've got uh, two tablespoons of butter in the pan Yep. on medium heat, probably medium high if you want this to cook kind of quick. He's going to put, he's got a cup of celery, okay. a half a cup of onion because he doesn't like onion. If you like onion, do a full cup okay. and a cup of chopped carrots. Okay. So this is a fun, yummy, home cooked meal and you're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes. Oh, we want to add some seasoning to that, so it's going to Ooh. smell amazing. We just salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Italian seasoning. Garlic and onion. Garlic and, and onion. Normally I use a poultry seasoning, I just don't have any today. So if you have poultry seasoning, you could use that instead of the onion and garlic. And then that goes in later. Later, okay. Yeah, that's xanthan gum. That's going to be used to thicken it. Thicken the sauce, got to it. Make it like a gravy. So he's going to be working on that. Okay. And that's going to do its magical things. And then I'm going to make the crust for the top. Okay, so we have two cups of almond flour. We're going to add a cup of cheese. This is Colby Jack. You can use sharp cheddar, whatever you prefer. In my house, they like Colby Jack. Salt and pepper. Italian seasoning, so the flavors carry over into both parts of the dish. And then we're gonna take two eggs. And you know I love my pastry cutter, so I'll be using my pastry cutter to mix this all together. And then I'll show you how we roll it out and make it nice and flat. Okay, pastry cutter, and you're just gonna use this to incorporate your, the eggs, and it'll end up being a nice, thick, crust and it has a delicious flavor and with the creaminess of the chicken and the sauce you'll love it all right we're almost there it doesn't take long with a fork I think it would take much longer and it's ready so I'm gonna get some oh he's such a good helper I'm gonna get some baking sheets or parchment paper, and you just need two of them. And you can either roll it up. I usually, I usually just. Do you need spray or anything, or are you good? Um, well, spray makes it easier. Grab me the spray. Is it up here? Yep, to the right on the second shelf. Ah, got All right, it. I'm gonna shut that other door too. Okay, just lightly spray. All right, and you're gonna dump this out Make sure it's all incorporated. There you go. Dump this out on the bottom one. This is smelling great back here. Great job. Look at you, stirring it up. Yep, yeah, I can stir. You're a good stir. Okay, and then you're gonna put the second piece of parchment paper on top. This is actually the, the pan we're using, so we just need it to be about this size. So you want it thinned out. Kind of in a square pattern. Doesn't have to be perfect. It tastes amazing. I guess if you're making this for a dinner party, I guess you might want it to be more perfect. Right, so you can use a roller if Look you really you. want to get fancy. Yes. Rob likes the roller. He's the he's about consistency. I'm a tool guy too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like tools. The garage is crazy. So just roll it out. Woo! Got a little crazy there. And that's what happens if you do roll it a little bit too far. Just pull it back in and get back to work. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's our crust. We're going to go back. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. Now, next, he's got those softened up a little bit. I yep. want you to add two cups of chicken broth. So this whole thing is two cups? That whole thing is two cups. Right. And I use I use better than bouillon. You can use any kind of chicken broth you like. Ooh, okay. it's hot. You got the steam on steamy. you. Steamy. There you go. 
So we're gonna bring that back to a boil. And this is where you're gonna use the xanthan gum. Now this is a thickening agent. A little bit goes a long way, so I did half a teaspoon. Okay. So I'm gonna have you sprinkle this and then okay. stir it. There you go. And you let that cook for a couple of minutes to get the, get it thickened. So xanthan gum, you've warned me before, it's one of those things that if you get too much, it goes real thick, right? Yeah, it'll it's almost gets like glue, so yeah, that's why so. we just you want to always measure it and not think, oh yeah, we'll just sprinkle some because then it ends up super thick. And if it does get thick thicker than you want it to, just add more broth. So I cut up and cooked chicken thighs, two pounds, and you can do you can do chicken thighs or you can do chicken breast. Chicken thighs are just amazing. So we did chicken thighs. All right, toss oh, that in there with, with all the rest of your uh, fun ingredients. I'm making him work a lot. This this yeah, is kind of no, fun. All right. Assistant cooker. Assistant cooker, yes, I'm definitely going to do that. Or assistant to the cooker. Yes, I am definitely the cooker. All right, going to have that stirred up. Now kind of incorporate it. There you go. Don't be shy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. Next, you're going to want to add in your cheese and your heavy cream. Cheese. Mm -hmm. And stir that all up in your heavy cream. And the heavy cream is so thick, I like to make sure to use the spatula so we can get all the yummy flavors. And I forgot to tell you to preheat the oven. So have the oven at 350. This one's gonna take probably 30 to 40 minutes to cook. All right, so we're gonna get that all incorporated. Okay. And we've kept this at medium high. As long as you're actively stirring it, if you are doing other things like taking care of kids or the laundry or whatever other things you're doing while you're cooking, dinner, um, just have it on a lower temperature and you can come back to it and stir it. Okay. All right, so tell me about your favorite part of chicken pot pie. Uh, chicken pot pie, my favorite part? Yeah, like what, why do you love uh, it? I love it uh, because it's like eating a really thick chicken stew or soup with a biscuit on the top. Oh, biscuits. So we should just call it biscuit on the top pie, but that's bad SEO. Oh yeah, people won't be searching for that, will they? Nobody looks for biscuit on the top pie. All right, biscuit on the top pie. All right. All right, hold on to that for me. All right, so I'm gonna, you want me to ladle this thing? Sure. Oh well, just, boy. It'll splash. I just didn't want you to splash it. Okay. I, I don't want you to get burned. I know. It's the dangers of the job. All right, I think I feel okay pouring it now. Okay. I think. It's, this, it's the yep. steam that'll get you. Yeah, it's steamy. There you go. If you take your time and let it thicken a little longer, we're just trying to rush it along here a little bit. Okay. But this will thicken up in the oven, right? Yeah, it'll thicken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so next, don't forget this is hot. Because you, it's wanna, hot now. you don't want to burn yourself. So here's your Here, fancy little. Over here a little bit. Your little, top, your little topping. Okay. Put it right over it, peel it back, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna kind of press it in. This is gonna go in the oven on 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. The top's not that hot. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right. I have waitress hands all those years waitressing years ago. Okay. And it goes top shelf, 30, 40 minutes. We'll be right back. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> all right, we're back. We've cooked the chicken pot pie 30 minutes in the oven at 350, and now it looks amazing. Just it actually has cooled for about 10 minutes too because he wanted to be able to eat it. The juice and everything out. It's thickened up pretty well. It'll continue to thicken as it cools, right? Yep. Okay. And you can also thicken it by cooking it on the stove longer. All right, so let me... It smells amazing! Okay. But it does smell amazing. Is it good? Mm hmm. He likes it. It's creamy. The crust is salty. It's great. Crunchy. Crunchy little chicken pot pie action. I love it. So, well, thank you for watching. Yeah, it's been another great home healthy. I've been your host, Rob, and this is my wonderful wife, Lisa. And Don't we just... forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah, we can subscribe to our videos. Uh, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, maybe and even Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. You can find us there, all right? <laughs> so we'll say bye. Bye.